Some states across Nigeria on Monday held ceremonies to mark the 2023 International Workers' Day. The ceremonies, mostly colorful, march past are designed to celebrate workers and their contributions to nation building. Issues with topped speeches nationwide were those to, you know, of improved welfare for workers as well as settling arrears of salaries, promotions and earned allowances. Let's take a look at some of the ceremonies in this package. In Bauchi State, workers there are demanding the return of old way of payment of monthly salary and pension through computer directorate, explaining that the current payment through consultants is not the best for the civil servants in the state. However, we are worried that money is being deducted for quite some time now and not being remitted to the bank, including third party deduction. This is very difficult for our members to assess the loan from the Federal Market Bank of Nigeria. We are appealing to the Excellency to direct the release of the agreed amount, including areas to the bank and all other outstanding third party deductions for industrial harmony. The state governor, Bala Mohammed, represented by the head of civil service, noted that the most critical issue is the accumulated gratuity, which he promised to address soon. Some Bauchi workers told Trust TV some of their challenges that have lingered over the years and need to be addressed. From Oyo State, Southwest Nigeria, the state governor, Sheyi Makinde, has assured workers of the state of improved welfare during his second term in office. In addition, the state's chief executive promised to frontly address the issue of unemployment across critical sectors of our economy. The leadership of the Nigerian Labour Congress called on the government at all levels to give room for dialogue, especially on issues of workers' welfare, and lauded the state government for protecting the interest of the workers. For your Excellency to please build an early, already existing solid foundation you have established. The VAB and structural health scheme, in order for it to be proactive and adequately meet the health needs and challenges of the Ohio State's workers and citizens of the From Bruno State, the Nigerian Labour Congress there has called on the state government to extend the years of service from 35 years to 65 years. It said the government needs to focus its attention on payment of local government pensioners owed since year 2002, implementation of promotion benefits and gratuities, and also consider approving 10% allowance for medical and health workers in the state. Staggered mode of gratuity payment which resulted into non-payment of gratuity to some beneficiaries from 2012-2017 or even beyond. The same thing applies to local government staff and patients. Asking and passing the bill requesting the extension of years of service for health workers from 35 to 40 years service or 60 years or to 65 years by back. The celebration were marked under the theme workers' rights and socio-economic justice.